Okay, Nuke Forty Two Eleven is here. Today I'm going to be playing Ninja Nanny. For those who haven't watched Lazy Game Reviews, Ninja Nanny is an old Windows game released in like the early 1990s, like 1993, and it's very weird, even for an edu entertainment game in fact it's not really an entertainment game it just just disguises itself as one so yeah let's just begin this oh yeah and I'm running on Windows 3.1 because I can see 1993 I don't have enough time to read this though Nice fanfare. Cool. Awesome. Great. Scientific studies have shown that reading the Dictyopedia Ninja Nanica expands the brain. You will now see your brain after reading a humble academic effort. Humble academic effort, huh? What the heck is that beat? in the background to explore just poison click adventuring along with ninja nanny and sherlock shelter you learn the clues as they do and meeting a host of eccentric friends and enemies okay so this um uh this plays um the clip with ninja nanny plays the that we just saw this plays the clip with sherlock shelter that we just saw this plays the clip with the the number 11 downing street that we just saw and this just plays all three in sequence at least from my experience uh, let's see this okay the truly evil baron von moribund High old engineer and Sherlock Shelty evade the baron's international number of operatives including Noel Cairo how does she meet and team up with Scottish cri computer criminologist? That's how. Okay. Let's get on with the show. And yes, I'm learning how to use Windows 3.1 too. Do you wish to exit this dust jacket and run chapter one? Let's hurry up and get to the story. Okay. Is this like public domain stock footage or something? Yes, videos. This game has a lot of them. This is some nice music. <laughs> this just has a charm to it. Okay, and then you jumped off into this. You, if you go into the Dictyopedia, and um, uh, here you just got some uh, some words that pull up some videos, some videos.
Ooh, search engine. Okay. Hmm, interesting. But what really takes the cake is this. This music is really relaxing. Uh. Okay, so there's the Pope back then. I'm not really knowledgeable about this Pope thing. The Golden Gate Bridge. And some more boring videos. A lot of them are boring in my opinion. <laughs> Excuse me. Illusion. <laughs> Mozart. Okay, so it's something we hear. At least it doesn't freeze the game. This game is bloated. And then just ends. Ooh, this ding sound. Almost sounds like Windows 98, although that's like five years later. It even has a bookmark system. Hi, Dictopedia. Let's go into the mod words. That's what we're interested in. Crazy cow! For, for certain animation sequences, you have a choice of speed optimizer or cartoon quality animation. This is recommended to pick cartoon quality only if you have a very fast 46. For example, 66 megahertz DX. And a double spin CD ROM drive. For example, Toshiba 341 series. I'm running this on DOS box. And a uh, max 105% cycles. So I'm gonna choose cost and quality. You've chosen cost and quality animation. Let's see. Norbertina is innocently romping around California's picturesque highway one. If you click here, she will appear at this very spot in a few moments. Then you'll have a decision to make. What's this clicking sound? Do you know the way? Side of this busy highway, do you think poor Norbertina should walk on? Okay, so let's try a stinky thing now because I suck at thinking, so I want to practice it here. Okay, so this is California, which is in the United States. People drive forward on the right side, and people drive like people drive forward on the right side in their perspective. So yeah, but then again, um, she could get run over either way. You have ruined the plans of the occupant of number 11, Downing Street. You will never again live in safety. What? Okay. Oh, stop clicking. Just. What side of this busy highway do you think poor Norbertina should walk on? Let's try the left side. At least poor Norbertina survived your choice. Would you like to try again? 
Sure. What side of this peep? Center. You have just committed your entire life savings to reconstructive surgery. Putting our heroin back into a cow from the hood ornament of that truck. Would you like to reconsider your decision? No, I'm rich. Gives me back to the story. Okay, and you got some weird icon. I guess it's a replay button. Let's go to the next. Um. Well, for you, I got out to bed this morning and here I am. Pardon my sloppy appearance, but I'm still recovering from a wild night that started it. Oh, but that's another story. Oh, uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Emperor Norton the 33rd, latest winner of San Francisco's Emperor Norton Look Like Contest. Named for the late famed and honored greeter of visitors to Baghdad by the Bay. Newspaper columnist. Hey, Cain forced coined this phrase, so appropriate of my distinguished hometown. Anything could happen here, anything at all. Okay, so this game is a lot of reading. I don't really think most of you would be um, uh, interested in um, hearing all these, um, hearing me read all these passages, but I might eventually just. Um, uh, read them anyway but cut them out to the main video so I don't bore you and just like upload them as an extra so and he got his own Dictiopedia <laughs> the Arabian Nights okay and the music just continues playing I have a bad feeling about this although it's Still, the UI looks pretty, um, uh, organized, to say the least, in my opinion. Bookmarks on the top, search and hot words on the bottom, and on the right, the original passage. <clears throat> Babe Ruth, I don't want to see another boring video. If I wanted to see a boring video, I'd go and subscribe to Jake Paul. Ah, uh, that's better. Just a photo. Trolleys walking trains are seen worldwide. Horse on trolleys running on tracks are seen worldwide about the time San Francisco introduced a more humane and safe cable car. This video clip serves as a replacement for the horse drawn bus showed above in Berlin, Germany before World War One. Okay. Is it really that fitting? Being an emperor has gone out of fashion across most of the world. One of the last European emperors with total power, but is a very kind man was Emperor Franz Joseph, whose 68 year reign ended with World War One. Would you like to see him? Okay. Okay, he's doing something or something, I guess. Okay. Educational. Oh no, 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 that's just a game trying to make us look more interesting than this actually is. This is way better. This diagram contrasts button made on the farm or in the home with modern industrialized button making, using power equipment in a factory like setting. Button making retains the same basic steps even today. But the equipment has changed just a bit. To get a better view of the diagram, just click on it. Do you actually spend the top or bottom of the drawing? No weird music this time? Oh man. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> yeah. Nice music. So Francis Drake anchored his warship in San Francisco Bay in 1579 and was allegedly crowned by enthusiastic Native Americans. Unfortunately, with a feather headdress, not a tomahawk. His ship, the Golden Hind, was appropriately named for Drake's focus on life gold and his cause exploitative personality, that is, that of a hinden. Drake was basically ruthless pirate condoned by the British Crown for treasures he plundered from Californian Indian tribes, Incas, Aztecs, Spanish ships and colonies, and the booty from his most successful voyage would today be v valued at over a billion dollars, far more than enough to buy both a pardon from his atrocities and knighthood. Okay. Uh, stalk. Okay. Okay. You get this nice picture. This is game run in sixteen colors. Okay, half time. This music just kind of sounds cool. The mu like, this sir's theme. That's it. Emperor Norton the thirty third, and I'm sorry, I just I just I just love that music. Norton thirty three, okay. This game's echo effect is cheesy. Mm. Kind of like envies. Okay. Almost sounds like Minecraft. Okay. Hmm? We're sorry, but as you can tell from the bell, the fish was called to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, this joke is just so simple yet kind of works. Ouch! <laughs> yeah. So that's a fun little interactive. Yeah. Scene two, Hotwood. Nanny and family. Interesting. Okay. Oh no, this is the fresh home scene, isn't this? <laughs> Let's click on other things. Mm. Okay. Uh, 1992, I guess. Uh. 
This game is just looping. I must can't do anything here. Ugh. Well, it's just some lag. I just hope the same thing doesn't happen again. Because that's an inconvenience. Noble Tina has a somewhat idolized view of nannyhood. As a child, I wouldn't have wondered what my nanny thought of me. Shall we ask her? Dare we? Yes. He was a vile brat. Okay. Okay. Doors and gauge bridge. Mm. This music's just mm, cool. Okay. The Golden Bridge is one of the world's. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the world's longest suspension bridges and arguably the most elegant and spectacular, largely due to its uninterrupted middle span. How is this possible in most bridges? Even the Oakland San Francisco Bay Bridge are supported by pillars sunk in the bottom of the bay. Click on this text to see what the Golden Brig Bridge would look like if it were held up by pillars instead. Okay. Okay. Rather than being supported from below, the weight of all cars and the steel deck are suspended from a yard deck cable strung between two enormous towers and anchored in huge concrete blocks weighing twice any possible load. Click on this text to see just how much weight the cable holds. 100 million pounds of steel. Plus one cow. I'd like to know more of this famous bridge. Okay. <laughs> this text, of course. Uh, this music is just awesome. There are no more hot words? Aww. This music is so awesome. And oddly enough, it goes on for what is not a short time. And it's still going. Okay, now it's finished. Okay, cable car. <laughs> the word art is a nice touch. Too bad it's kind of looping. Okay, let's go back before this game glitches. Mm. A nice little um, uh, graphic you got there. No more hot words? Oh man. Let's go chapter two. Hurry up so I can find that despicable war rat. Okay. Okay, this music is just uh Ultra Chocolate Zombie. What does that even mean? He's called some pigs. Ben Hogg and Gary Doss are chasing each other through every room in the every extremely large. So we have a pretty good idea of Mr. Ben Hogg's point of view in this disagreement. Would you like to hear the other pig, Mr. Gary Doss? Oh, oh. 
Let's cook here so we can call Mr. Dolls and find his monocle. We could try to call him Mr. Hog, but it is impossible. Okay. Okay, next hot wood. It's all you can eat. <laughs> Another person. Okay, so this guy is basically explaining the lore behind this one story. <laughs> Someone, please make a lore video of, of Ninja Nanny. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Ugh, this is so long. I'm definitely cutting this. All this inside to talk about the travels has really worn me out. Uh, of course. And all this listening to you has really worn me out. And I bet it would have worn the viewers out if I hadn't cut this. I need to rest my vocals. And I need to rest my eyes. Click on that button up above and give me a chance to sip some of the, uh, water from this glass. Uh. Red water is actually one of my favorite waters, so I'll let you drink it. Okay. No more hot words. Oh man. And I like how the game just lets you skip the story. It's barely an actual game since there are no challenges you can also lose. Does this even qualify as a game? I don't know. Opera? If it asks you this, it means it's you're either gonna get a video or audio or like something like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Auction. Took on the funky car first. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. On to see Frank Auctioner. No coys. One of my bid for camp number 43. I want a strange hide. Got to have seen how you're on it. Like what I have seen instead of all seen. Do you have Okay, do you want it? Okay, you give up. So sold with a weird couple of random limbs. Come on, you lazy calf. Woo! Woo! Okay. Auction, yeah, you know cows. Um, I'm wondering about these stories. I'm going to look at a copyright screen once I finish the video. Alright, Cheshire Cats. Wait a minute. Judgment wants to go among mad people. Uh, you can't have that. Said Cat. We're all mad here. You're mad. I'm mad. I'm mad at this game for just being kind of boring at times. Although, so the animations certainly do make up for it, as well as the random characters, I guess. Just, and some of the music, I guess. Okay, I'll go back. Yell the albatross. Oh, 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 gosh. Again, another one is, you know what? I give up. I'm not reading this. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to see. Oh, that's better. Why does everyone sound like a woman? By the way, I am not despicable. I'm a perfectly respectable businessman. See you later. A while later, in the very same kitchen. 
Top notch acting. Have you perchance seen Noel? Noel Cairo, that is? You haven't. That I have. despicable wolf rat. And then he disappears. Odd. No Coro, freelance. Exports imports management. Leave word for me at Naughty Neville. Have suitcase will travel. Okay. Sydney to it. There that guy and his uh, Cheshire cat. Okay, so we got Alice Wonderland original characters way before DeviantArt. This was like seven years before DeviantArt. Ha. <laughs> Let's go to next hot word. No more hot words. No oh, man. Let's go to chapter three. Yes. Take your time getting to that next chapter. I'm in no hurry to meet that cow in the post <laughs> office. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's the voice of uh, the Baron. Baron von M something. Multima or something, I guess? Chapter 3, Trouble Cancelled. Okay. And I need to shout out the poster mouse cried. I'm not gonna read these whole entire passages, so let's go to the, the words. Four mouses and astonishment. I oh, mean, yeah, four moose, I mean. Okay. Don't. Won't. Don't. Won't. Isn't there anything in here we do? <laughs> I... I don't know. Let's try this other one. Okay, this is just weird. Okay, I'm sure the series already weird, but this is just weirder than usual. Whatever. <laughs> Going to answer the priority mail. Um, what is this game trying to say? Okay, it's all the interactive parts. Next, hardware. Mm, no more hot words. Nothing enjoyable for me. Mm. Yeah, we're just going to hot words because that's like, those are the interesting parts. Well, if they're not summoning spinning. What's in the dangerous? Arthur Frank. Arthur Cyrus Frank. Also travels under the following lines is Francis Manhauser, Henry Winsap, and My Myron Tobado. Pillar number, one screw loose. Name. Okay. Frank is wanted for dairy cow rustling. Baseball autograph forgery. And bingo parlor fraud in Maine, Tennessee, and Colorado. He was last seen passing Burgess quarters at a laundromat in Chattanooga, Tennessee, accompanied by a scrawny teenager wearing sandals. This convicted felon has already done time at Quackenbrush, maximum security penitentiary, and should be considered extremely slippery if spotted. Call the FBI. Okay. I guess the reason why the scenes are weird, like some of it, is because most of the people don't read the passages. So, yeah. Although then again, the Cheshire Cat thing is weird no matter what context is applied to it. The tree top boxes were teetering and she reared up in hind legs. So, I guess, again, the reason why these scenes are, like, one of the reasons why the scenes are weird is because most people will not read the passages. And I am one of those people. I'm not gonna read through the passages and sit through what I already sit through in school. So, let's just... Let's just, just, 
go through these harsh words because this is YouTube. If you want this to read a lot, you're gonna have to go to another place. Okay, this is Norbertina or some other similar character. Property of um, uh, the Brooders Commons off scavenges since 1996. You crumpets, we dump it. Please, oh, please allow me to give myself a proper direction. First time I stake Silicon Alley for permitting me to rebuild the impressions of the city, given my previous liberty narratives. I'm in sign Iona Higgleby of the San Francisco Salvation Navy. Oh my gosh, these, these, these Victorian era people turned out to be San Francisco. <laughs> oh gosh, this is just slightly absurd here. We were saving the souls of Rumdrick Mariners who'd come round the horn more than 50 years before the Brooders come Karamotsov infected our town with the presence. It's a shame to waste valuable time discussing these filthy mills. Before you hurry off to read these complex so I think you'll find it interesting to know how the author's own adventures thoroughly parallel those of his characters. Okay. Okay. Just... Anything else? Sewer. No. Does double click mean change animation? No, please don't. Constant percussion of authors rubber stamp. No bulk mails deliveries. Postal service Indeed. employees only. The sign says post boosters only. Do you think you're a post booster or something? I don't know. What's a post booster? Dictionopedia, here it come. Okay, where's post booster? No? You're not gonna say what a post booster is? Okay then. The truck stops here. H. Truman, postmaster. Postmaster! Oh. To Everard Jacob Hogg, Esquire, 76 Belgrave Cottage Lane, Kiffsgate, the Cotswolds, England. Okay. England on. Five pounds a day. Oh no! That's where I saw these stamps on that insane cow. Finally, a dude oh, voicing a character. If he ever figures out she's in that barrel, he'll go crazy and blame me. Why? Oh, why couldn't I just be watching Moosterfeast Theater instead? Wait, what's a mystery? Okay. See you in a later episode where I can get these darn new settlers off. No off with you, or off with your head. Okay. Ha, <laughs> just weird. I don't care if you've seen those sheets of stamps before. Hurry up and hand cancel them. What's taking you so long? Get on with it. This jerk doesn't have a brain in his head. Oh, gosh. Wait, let's go back. Let's, let's, let's go back to see what the previous hotspot was. <sighs> Melvin. Like, the three top boxes were teetering and she reared up on hind legs, pushing the wobby stack into place while struggling to maintain her balance. I just, I, I just hope that someone out there isn't just, 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 just doing something, uh, just, oh, just, 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 move on. Hot word. George Mansion. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, when you redraw one of your Victoria thing. 
Oh, the... Oh! <laughs> I don't know who. Oh, that's Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 I get it, something was wrong. Who is she? Mae West? Correct, let's see here. Oh, I, I always did like a man in the uniform. That one oh. Grant. That's also a boring stock footage I'm that I'm not interested in seeing. This is just so old. Like, it's just too retro for me. I'm more interested in 90s stuff. You can, you can only click on the mansion, the cable corner scene. Do you wish to go to the sidewall and the drive mansion again? I didn't know why you spent all that time reading about a cow when you could have hurried up to chapter four and met Sherlock Shelty, computer criminologist. I'm sorry, but the hot word just kept me inside here. My gosh, it's getting late. Part 2, the mystery unfolds. Chapter 4, number 11, Downing Street. I've done some research on what number 11 Downing Street looks like, or what it is, and it's some um, government thing. Okay, so it's getting dark, so this is a g so I think this is a good place to stop. Okay, so um, let's stop.